Hi everyone, it's Emily Burgess, one of the dietitians at Home Base. Today I'm going to be talking about pre and during exercise performance nutrition tips. During this time where most of us do not have access to a gym or spin studio, the question arises if we still need to be fueling for our at-home workouts. And the answer is yes. We are going to be going over the basics of pre-workout fueling and go into more detail about when fueling during exercise is recommended. When thinking about getting ready for a workout, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, well, how much time do I have? As you can see in the diagram, the closer we get to performance, the smaller we want our snack to be and the more carbohydrate dense. The reason that quick carbohydrates are recommended within the hour prior to exercise is because they lack fiber and get digested very quickly. This allows for easy digestion so the food won't be sitting in your stomach while you are working out. The further you are out from a workout, for example, having a balanced breakfast, is always recommended if you have the time. One question that I get a lot is, well, should I eat something before my 6 a.m. workout? And my answer is always yes. Not eating before a workout is like driving a car on an empty tank. Your body doesn't need a lot of food prior to a workout. It just needs something to raise your energy by getting glucose or carbohydrates into your bloodstream and to your muscles. Here are some other pre-workout nutrition examples. Looking at 30 to 60 minutes out, as you can see, a lot of these items are those quick carbohydrate foods. So foods that are gonna be digested and absorbed really quickly. One of my favorite ones is to recommend is the Nature Valley granola bars. A lot of people have bananas on um, within, their, uh, within their gym bags. Um, Gatorade is also a great one to kind of be sipping in the car on the way over, um, and also rice cakes and jelly. When thinking about fueling about one to two hours out from a workout, we can kind of think about a little bit more of a broader picture here. So as you can see, a lot of these items and combinations you still do have that quick carbohydrate foundation, but they may also have a complement of either fat or protein. Because we have a little bit more time, we have a little bit more time to allow for proper digestion and absorption. Now taking a look at intermediate fueling or during exercise nutrition. The rule of thumb here is that if you are working out for under an hour, extra fueling is not necessary. When thinking about workouts or exercise that is going to be lasting longer than 60 to 90 minutes, then fueling during performance can be beneficial. Under 60 minute workouts would include workouts here at home base in the Warrior Health and Fitness program, a spin class, or maybe even a 45 minute run. Now looking at exercise going over 60 minutes, the standard recommendation is 30 to 60 grams of carbohydrates per hour of exercise. My favorite example to use here is the Boston Marathon. Because running causes your whole body to be moving, causing your organs, your digestive system to be moving up and down, the last thing you want is to eat something that won't get digested well and will end up and you will end up with a stomach cramp. Most runners utilize goos and gels since they are easy to pack and don't require a lot of effort to consume while running. Here is a sneak peek to a marathoner's fueling plan for race day. They are always carb loading for three days prior to the race and then fueled during the race every 45 to 60 minutes. The runner would consume the recommended dose of carbs to help them maintain blood sugar levels and to also help continue fueling their brain and muscles during the duration of the race. Water and Gatorade usually are given out during the race and the recommended um, strategy is here to alternate between water and Gatorade about every 15 minutes. Here are some during exercise nutrition examples. As you can see, all of these are quick carbs so that they get absorbed and broken down quickly. We talked about granola bars earlier, so Nature Valley granola bars, Chewy granola bars, more really carb-based um, snack bars, dried fruit, dried mango is one of my favorites to recommend, pretzels, bananas, crackers, and then going back to those goos and gels and different companies um, are making them now, including Gatorade. Now to wrap things up, here are a few things to consider when coming up with your customized fueling plan. This is a trial and error process. One food that may work for your teammate 
may not work for you. You have to test and try out different foods to figure out what's going to work best for you. Fueling is also not one size fits all. Fueling is dependent on your sport. So for example, Ryan here at home base was training for a marathon through the Sahara Desert where he was going to be walking it to complete it. Since he was not going to be running and his gut was not going to be as mobile, we were able to utilize more fat-based fueling fuel sources. Also, if you have any specific fueling questions, it is always best to ask your dietitian for guidance over a blog post on the internet.